What's up guys, welcome back to Tackling the World. We are still in Niue, also known as The Rock, which is a remote island nation. And today we're gonna to be checking out a taro farm. Uh, and we're also meeting up with Jay. You guys remember we did an episode with him last time we were in Niue. Uh, he's got a YouTube channel as well called uh, Life on the Rock, Niue Life on the Rock, Island. Niue Island. Yeah, this is your little little taro farm? Yeah, uh, yeah, just a little one just close nearby. Yeah. Uh, we have the other ones in the yeah, other bush areas because you always have to keep planting it, otherwise you run out of uh, hoolies or the shoots. Oh, and yeah. You don't have anything to plant. Mm. All right. Do you harvest taro all year? Pretty much. Mm. It takes about anywhere from six to nine months for mm -hmm. harvest, but it depends also on the taro variety. Yeah. Some taros can go up to over to about a year. There are ones also that are good for certain type of stuff like for um, datakihi. Oh, there yeah. are certain taros for datakihi. Oh, really? Yes, so or not just any taro. Yeah. That's what they say anyway. So that's what we do. But I've always planned on uh, just doing takihi with all of the ta different taros. Eh? So yeah. you can see. Just, just a little yeah, taste test. Takihi yeah. is uh, like the uh, traditional New Wayan dish. Yes. Right, with um, taro and papaya and coconut cream and just baked in, in the umu usually yeah, underground the umu. yeah usually. Oh, tiny taro and the funny thing too is like for most people that plant and grow taros eh, they prefer when eating wise mm -hmm. they prefer the small taros oh yeah and same as me but I like the big ones, eh? Because you can just pull one and you're done. <laughs> Sometimes <laughs> just one big towel can feed me and my whole family, eh? It's True, yeah. Yeah, I'll just make these shoots so we can plant them. Ooh. Oh, I see. So it's like one main one and then the shoots are just... Yeah. Shoots Coming don't up. really have anything on them, huh? Not uh, just the... Um... Yeah, but some, sometimes they can be really big too. Oh, yeah? Depending on the growth of the towel. So it's small. I look at the shoots. Yeah. But you can still peel these too, like this size if you peel them and coconut cream and certain leaves mix them together man that's still good oh, oh the yeah best. oh cool yeah, people will, people in the know they'll go for these when they see them man oh uh -huh. yeah but it's just uh too much hard work because they're yeah. so small they'll be peeling like for oh. and, and these ones can grow really big too and how many are there how many varieties oh here on the way i hear people talking about they say over 50. Wow. Oh, jeez. The varieties that I have myself, I yeah. would have up to about just over 20. Jocelyn's gonna pull one. <laughs> she wants me to fan her while, <laughs> while she does it. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the main one. Oh, still that, that one. That you, 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 you can start pulling. If you, if you pull the, the main one first, and if it's too hard, hmm. then you start pulling the... The, mm, the other ones? Yeah, yeah. Loosen the it up. Shoots. Basically. Yeah, so those are the ones that we normally eat over here. Oh, right. Not raw, all the leaves. Mm. <laughs> Ooh, it's hard to pull there you go. Oh. There you go. You got it. Oh, you got it. <laughs> Too easy. <laughs> easy. Ooh, full of water. Oh, yeah, this. It's too easy. <laughs> <laughs> it's either that or you might be too strong. <laughs> <laughs> I have been working out and getting ready for the GTs. <laughs> My first taro. <clears throat> Is that your first taro? <laughs> yeah. Eva. <Ever. laughs> can you make like like mashed potatoes with taro? <laughs> mashed taro? Like a silky taro. I don't I don't think the wings have ever done, but I've seen some other Pacific Islanders that do. Oh, yeah. Oh, mash it with coconut cream instead of mash milk. Mash it with coconut cream. Oh, dang. <laughs> that would be good. <laughs> a little butter in there, you know. And, mm. Look at how sweaty I am. And then look at how not sweaty talking is. You don't is. look too sweaty. Uh, I feel so sweaty. Well, it's look at that. You, you, got, you got your hat on and stuff. Can you yeah. But I am super sweaty. It's just moist and talk is cool as a cucumber. I'm a cucumber. I don't know how you stay so dry. <laughs> <laughs> just like a little wet mess. I have like zero ability to regulate my temperature. I get cold easily, I get hot easily. Yeah. I constantly take sweater off, sweater on, sweater off, sweater on. <laughs> <laughs> but I did notice for you, yeah, your sweat actually cools you. Like I've true. accidentally touched your arm when you were sweaty and it was yeah. cold. Yeah, true. So like I'm sweating, I'm hot like, still. Yeah. 
<laughs> Decapitated. <laughs> What's this machine? It's a bit big. This brother's one. Oh yeah. It's a bit on the heavy side and kind of dull. Oh. Then they'll say, "Good excuse." Yeah. <laughs> That's what I always say when I have to use other people's knives when I'm cooking. You know, oh, it's too dull. So you understand the I, I get it. Smaller one. Uh huh. Use for this. Yeah. It's much much easier. Yeah. And nice and sharp. You can tell it's a dull also. Who the... does this to the coconut? Yeah, it gets all fuzzy, huh? Yeah. Doesn't have a clean. Let's do this one for this one. Alright. Thank you. Oh, it's, it's so full. <laughs> it's so full. Yeah. <laughs> oh, how's that? So good. So oh. refreshing. <laughs> oh yeah. Mm. Yum. Look at this. Mm. Young coconut. Mm. You bought this fan here, right? Yeah, I did. <laughs> Last time. That's her favorite. Yeah, but it was made for taller people. Cause I have to go. We have to be careful. If I get too close, I'll slap myself. <laughs> so it's always like a very extended. <laughs> Such a nice breeze. Oh, that's good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it tastes like the ones you get in the store. Mm. Mm -mm. Oh, it's way better. Yeah. Because I had that side. We have this Canadian over here. Yeah. And they see they saw my videos. Yeah, I, was, I was doing this at the bush and drinking the coconuts. Man, you make it look so good. So we on their way somewhere, they stopped over at a gas station, I think. And they saw the coconut water in the cans. So, yeah. Oh, this is what he saw me drinking in the videos. <laughs> and he got it and drank and said, man, this is terrible. <laughs> then he was thinking, was I lying on the video? <laughs> Until he got here. Then he had it himself. He said, oh, it is good. What he had there was just... <laughs> really, usually, like, the store ones are, like, way sweet. You know, you can tell they add sugar. And it's in the label too. They just like put so much sugar in it. And it's like most of them are just like, ah, way too sweet. So that'll be your spoon? Oh, okay. Oh, it's cool. Uh -huh. There you go. So Jay's showing us how to get into the meat of the coconut when it's still a hole with the husk on. He did that in two whacks. <laughs> Made it look easy. Guaranteed it's not that easy. <laughs> Guaranteed. I know it's not that easy. Oh yeah, that's the one. Oh, look at the Ooh, nice. This is so young. Mm -hmm. That is the best. There you go. I have to do some. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. The spoon is cool. That's legit. <laughs> yeah, biodegradable. Yeah, that's the one. Mm -hmm. okay. That's why I just cut these tops. Okay. Oh. So replanting. You know what I was telling you before? Uh huh. Like over here? Yeah, yeah. So, so if it's a bigger one, you can just carve your name here or your initial. Oh yeah. And that'll stay. Cool. Yeah, that's cool. I just replant yeah, the, the top. Oh, it's what the top? Ah. Yeah, that's the one. That's it right there. Yeah. For some more, for some more, go back with some more. Yeah, yeah, go, go. That's the one, yep. Well, the sun is strong. I know. Oh. My toes don't have sunblock and I think they're really sunburned. <laughs> you see the tea there? Tea yeah. There you go. Nice. Cool. Coming back in July. Nice. But if you forget where it is, you have to do this whole field till you find it. <laughs> Taro competition. <laughs> All right, we got Jay on this one. Uh -huh. See who's who's is bigger. Once it's all said and done. Huh. Yeah, the traditional way they like on the board and um, slice it, but it's yeah. much better doing it this way. Really? Because it's thinner. Really thin. Yeah. Then you got. Yeah. And then it turns out like some are thick, 
some you know how to get any thin yeah because the thinner it is the better mm -hmm. because this type this is a manganumi this one it will it will stick all oh, right whereas if you just use any other towels it, like it sticks together yeah yeah it's a, a better process in between the, oh, the right. purples do you ever use like a mandolin mm -hmm. you know those like the ones that you like it's a more of a wider thing that oh, you yeah, slice yeah true but i've never i've <laughs> never really um tried it eh yeah it's just a um, your leaf. banana leaf yeah and then we put it over the fire to soften it like this you know uh bendable yeah nice and pliable yeah pliable yeah, yeah. so we take off the strip at the back oh okay and then you put it over oh yeah so that's so like the, a thick yeah like a natural foil right yes like a foil wrap but it's a natural one this is a cool little cooker man <laughs> like this yeah charcoal stove i like this one too just right on the rock <laughs> So like all this charcoal here. Nice airflow through the rocks, huh? Yeah, but a lot of people now it's just they just go for the gas. The, on the gas, huh? The electric stove is much <laughs> easier. Yeah. But at least we have this if we want. <laughs> so then, that so that you cut pretty thin too? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Jocelyn was scraping coconuts yesterday. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. where? <laughs> Yeah, we were at the manual the, one. Yeah, yeah, the manual one, just like this, because we we borrowed it from Ian, and he just and then we were just scraping it. Jocelyn was working hard. But thin ribbons that goes on there. I, is, does, do most people make it like that, or usually they cut it? I think a, a lot of people do it this way. Yeah. With using the peeler. The peeler, yeah. This is going. But this is right. the old traditional way that they normally um, straight. Scrape it like this into the dish. Oh yeah. So usually they use the coconut husks, the traditional way, or they just use oh the your coconut bare hands. Husks. They make a little cloth with the coconut. Yeah, with the coconut husk. Oh. They will show it later. You guys do anything with this, or just feed it to the chickens? We just feed it to the chickens mm -hmm. or pigs. You want to sing your basket like this? The end, the end part? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and then you hold this part. So these are the two you're going to start off with. So the first leaf mm -hmm. will go up and this one will go down. The next one, so you skip one. Oh, skip one. And then you hold this one. You go up and down. And then you pull it. Pull like this. So you should have kind of like a weaving pattern. One, yep. Hold this one. And then hold that one. So you see? Yeah. So the next one, you're going to hold this one up, drop this one, yeah, and then miss one, so you always miss, the pattern is miss one, and then the next one goes over on top of that one, on top of the one you missed, yeah, and then you just, you let go of these ones, uh -huh. and yeah, so this one, don't even, don't touch this one, because you, you can use it afterwards. You got it? I'm not okay. sure. <laughs> <laughs> This is a very hard loan need to work with, that's why it's a bit flimsy. Mm. So the good best loan needs to work with is like the really thick ones. Oh, okay. Yeah, so try and open them. Yeah, don't mind if you break it. And then, <laughs> <laughs> and then you tuck it underneath this one. Very complicated, but once yeah. you get the hang of it, you'll know. One, two, three. What do you think? Is it hard? Once it clicks, it's yeah. not too hard, but mm -hmm. it takes a little while. <laughs> yeah. I know, she does it so fast. This is years of practicing. So most of these stuff we learn in school, they teach us in school. Oh yeah? Yeah, so that we just know. Ooh. But the girls do crafts and then the boys will do like mm -hmm. wood. The spears. Oh, yeah. cool. And then if you're really good, if you're really fast and advanced, there's races. Mm -hmm. so like, to do the coconut basket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, this end of your basket. So you see how this first one is like this? Mm -hmm. So this one, you are gonna put it through this hole. So you're gonna grab it, bring it back up, and you're gonna grab this. So you see it, it can you can kind of see the pattern? Down, so you grab that one, one. Two, 
and three. So, which way is it? One, you want to try? Two, three. And then you fold it in. Mm. And then, yeah. And you pull, pull, pull. Tuck this one underneath that one. Just like how we did before. And then, yeah, then your basket's connected. And you just weigh, weave these ones into it. So you grab the ones at the bottom. One. Probably right. Two. Yeah. And it's this one. This, you see that one? Uh-huh. Yeah, grab that one. Yep. Yeah. And tuck it. Do you want to tuck? Cross. This one? Yes, that one. You fold it in. Grab this one. Tuck it in now. Yeah. And there we go. So here's the basket. So okay. now you just want to go around and pull these to make sure it's nice and tight. Nice. This next part is, I find this is my favorite part when you're braiding it. So you see, you see where we connected the thing down oh, there? Yeah. So you squeeze your basket like this, oh, yeah. and then that's how you know that's where you're starting your braid from. Right mm. opposite this part. This okay. part is the connecting, the connecting yeah. and then you wear and you pull that little ducky. So now you want to grab this one, so you tuck it. And you bring this one, so you're just going to braid it. Huh. So this one, this, you push it up like that, yeah. and you grab that one that's folded in. Oh. And then you just add it to this one. This way. It's a lot of this, leaves. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this one goes over like this. Yep. Next one, the top one, yeah, feed it up, yep. and then, and then the one is no, this one, yeah. oh, that one, this one, feed it over here, and then, here, and then this one goes over, and then this one goes over this way, yeah, same as this one. Here's your next one to feed into the thing to make the crisscross right pattern. There. So, here we have things, so then you can just bend it down like that. Okay. So yeah, so we're at the end, and then you just have to flip your bag up there. Yeah, I just wonder how it finishes. Yeah, so... You can't use any glue? Uh, no, so... <laughs> this is all natural. All natural, no tape? No, no tape. <laughs> no duct tape. So this is when you flip your bag mm -hmm. and then you turn the braid yeah. and then you braid it back. Oh, you braid it back now. Yeah. So it goes, so you, you know how to braid backwards? Or? No. Okay, so I'll braid it forward. You just grab it and then feed into it. Oh, okay. So remember to pull. And you grab this one on this side. Yeah. Feed into it. Uh-huh. Yeah, so you just keep on grabbing to the ones that we fit into most, just like that one we skip. Yeah. Okay. Put it up. It's looking really nice. Yeah. And then you get to the end. Tie it off. And then into the Holy Ghost. Oh. And there you go. Very nice. Mm, wow. Yeah. So there it is. Oh, missed one. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, missed one. Yeah. And there you go. That's how you make a basket. Mm, perfect. I can collect things. Yeah. <laughs> collect some baby chickens. <laughs> yeah, I think you'll survive <laughs> the jungle. You on, could. On an island. Use all my coconut stuff. Now you need to learn how to make my a hat. Coconut, all the co oh, yeah. For survival. Oh, I guess like you you're this. desperate. Just wear this. You're a pretty good one. <laughs> Sweet. Thank you. Yeah, that was fun. I feel like this was 10% me, 20% Taku, 70% our teacher. <laughs> I've been wanting to learn how to weave a basket yeah. for quite a while. And 
just learned how. Yeah. You think you can do it again? <laughs> no, I'll have to watch this video again. Video. <laughs> yeah, at least we got the video so we can yeah. uh, rewatch and learn again. Okay, where are we at on this, Jay? The flying fish that you brought over today. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we've done some over there. They're all cooked and they're all wrapped up, ready for eating. And these are the last two oh. that I'm just putting over there. Check it out. So, yeah, just to make use of the coal. Yeah. There we go. Now this we got a plate. Is. Yeah. And then you put a leaf. Huh? And now we can line the yeah. a plate with. Nice. Yeah. Oh Thank you. It's the same, same, same concept. Yeah. Tie it and then you cut it. Oh, big plate. Yes. So a nice big plate. Yes, I'm just so picking myself. Make myself a nice big one. So big pot is in the olden day. Plate's ready to go. Got a big plate. <laughs> Made a big one. Just for myself. Looks like it could be a hat too. <laughs> just put a string. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Right under. That's that's true. Nice. So this is a yam roasted over the charcoal. And then just pour coconut cream on it. With that, I suppose. Mm -hmm. Is this yam too? Or? What's this one? Oh, that's tapioca. Oh, tapioca. Oh. So, okay. okay, I'm gonna try this. Let's try this yam. Oh, the charcoal. Show from the charcoal. Very, very good. Taro. Mmm. The taro is really creamy. It's thick. Mmm. Mm. Dense. Mm hmm. Yes, some. Um, wow. Like how? Like the texture? It's thick and, yeah. Mm hmm. It's real creamy. Mm hmm. Mmm. Mm. Yeah. Let me try The texture is really good on this. Mmm. Oh yeah. Mmm. With coconut cream. Mmm. Tapioca is good. Oh yeah. This is my first time having it. Mm hmm. What is that called? We call it pitaco. Pitaco kapia. Pitaco. Mmm. Like mm. tapioca bread. Tapioca mm. bread, yeah. yeah it's, uh, kind of like mochi, huh? I was going to say that. Yeah. Mm. Everything tastes really good in coconut milk. <laughs> everything in coconut milk. I do want to dip that's everything. Right. No, that's why I learned it new way. <laughs> everything in coconut milk. Right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> coconut cream, you just put it in there, it makes everything better. <laughs> mm -hmm. Alright, here it is. Here's the takihi. Ooh. Papaya and taro and coconut cream. <laughs> it's really oily, eh? Yeah. Is this from the, the coconut cream? cream? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, look at the layers. Oh, yeah. Thank you. It's hot, actually. It's super hot. It didn't look that hot, but it wants to touch my tongue. That's the best. That's so soft and creamy and silky. Oh, the taro is so good. <laughs> that texture. Mm, mm. So good. Jay, thank you so much for having us once again. Amazing stuff, man. And thank you to all, all the family. That was awesome, Jay. Learning all kinds of stuff. No problem. It's nice to have you guys joining us. And yeah. I'd also like to thank you for giving us the opportunity to be on your channel. Yeah, for sure, And just man. to spend time with you, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Anytime, you guys, you know, when you're here on your way, always welcome to come around. You know where we're at now. Awesome. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, thank you. And you guys check them out. Life on the Rock. Yeah. New Way Island. New Way Island. After a long, hot day taroing, it's time to take a little dip in the limu pools. Looks pretty sweet. Water's a bit uh, sloshy, but it's 
really hot today. Nice. Cave. It's actually, this is a tunnel. I saw a ton of needlefish and some other little tiny guys. Oh, I saw one little uni, super small, like mm. this big. Such a refreshing dip. As soon as you get out, though, it's so humid and you're just hot again. But oh, that was nice. A little wish washy in there, but it's still nice. How many wishes did you make? 72. Uh, that should be everything for this video. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys on the next one.